Hi guys, it's Matt here at Mvapes. Um, this is not really a product review or anything, it's just kind of a catch up on uh, goings on, keep you up to date on things. Um, as you know, we do our own range of box mods, the yeah, um, EOKL uh, board inside and made out of walnut wood. Um, we've got a few new additions and this has been the first one, this is just a prototype. Uh, this is a dual 18350 series OKL walnut box mod with the mod meter display and brass details. So um, this is our uh, two six uh, sorry 18650 um, box. So as you can see, it is a little bit shorter. Um, you can have the same customizing options where you can choose brass or stainless switch, brass or stainless um, catch cut, brass or stainless pot bezel. Um, you can also choose different 510s and you can have it with or without the mod meter display uh, or you can have it with a voltmeter display. Building this um, prototype was quite fun. It's quite tight inside for space. Um, but everything uh, fits in there nice and neat and tidy um, and that is a perfect little sort of pocket sized mod for out and about um, because it's dual 18 350 it's better suited to uh, you know, mouth to lung vapors because you can't build massively low ohm coil builds on, on 18350 batteries just because there's no 18350s out there with enough you know amp draw on them um, so the limits about sort of 0 0.7 0 0.8 of an ohm is the lowest I'd go on this little box here um, on our bigger boxes you can go down to 0 0.2 ohm but uh, 18350s that 0 0.7 0 0.8 of an ohm and um, batteries there really is not too many choices but uh, I use the uh, AWTs, um, which are 800 milliamp power, it says 10 and a half amp. But you know, if you check on Moocher's um, battery tests, nearly all of the 18350s, the good ones, come out at sort of continuous, uh, about sort of four amps, and pulsed probably about seven or eight amps. So um, you know, but uh, there we go. That's something for pocket friendly. That's actually prototype model number one this is prototype number two um, identical except I've managed to just shave a couple of mil off the height I don't know if you can see that it's just a couple of well it's probably about three mil three mil less in height um, because I thought there was a little bit of room to play with up the top there so um, that just gets it down even smaller so super tiny whilst we're talking about tiny mods uh, we are also going to be releasing a single 18650 fully mechanical squonker um, you might recall things like uh, you know the franken skull and things like that quite popular at the moment a uh, tiny little single 18650 fully mechanical squonker oh, this is our version uh, again, solid walnut wood, and this thing is tiny. Um, measurements: it is 75 tall, 55 wide, 26 deep. So that is. Compare it to our 18350, it's a little bit skinnier than the 18350 and it's a tiny bit taller. Um, but uh, yeah, that is pocket friendly squonking, that is nice and simple, nice round squonk window using our 15mm um, juice bottles, which are soft one touch bottles. Um, got the brass catch cup there and brass switch solid brass as well which i think complements the walnut really nicely 
uh, inside. There we go. Simple as it uh, gets, really. Um, but all the connections solid copper, so very low voltage drop. And the doors held on. Magnets to the battery and three to the door. And that holds on nice and securely as well. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what it vapes like. Absolute little cloud machine that is. That's got the Freak Show V2 on there at the moment uh, with some uh, dual staggered fused Claptons and. Uh, it's coming out about 0 0.016 of an ohm. Uh, and there's the little squonk function there. You see, just a simple one touch. It's got loads of juice up there. Really nice and simple. Works really well. And uh, love it to bits. So they'll be coming out soon. Um, this is uh, prototype number two. Um, prototype number one got destroyed um, I'm just going to test this for a few weeks and uh, then that will be released the dual 18 350s will be released in the next few days um, and what else yes we're also having a play with some new woods um, these are some new woods that I'm sampling I've just got some boxes up in these new woods uh, I'll go for them one by one. This one is Spalted or Spelted Beach, um, which is a rather unusual looking wood. It's got these really dark black uh, lines in them, which are actually a fungal growth in the wood. And that just looks absolutely stunning, I think. So let us know your views on which one you like the best. I might build all three and do, you know, do all three as a product. But uh, I might um, you know, just pick the best one. But that's that's Bolted Beach, and this one is uh, Olive Ash, which has got an absolutely stunning grain on it. It's a really pretty wood. So that is Olive Ash. Uh, these haven't been waxed yet, so they'll all probably darken up a little bit. And this uh, odd looking wood is quarter sawn lace wood, which is zany. <laughs> that is something else. So there we go quarter sawn lace wood, spalted beech, and olive ash. So let me know your thoughts on those and. Um, I say we'll either do just do these as limited edition um, or they'll be listed as a product uh, undecided yet but um, let's know your thoughts on those uh, that's about it really um, I'll say the, uh, the mini scronker uh, that'll be a couple of weeks and the 18350 that'll be a couple of days uh, that's it for now and uh, I'll bring you some more videos soon thanks a lot Bye-bye.